Hello there, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. We are a news recap show that's going to be trying to get out some of the most important information that we think is, you all should be pretty interested in, um, because it does affect us all. Uh, it affects everyone. Um, so, basically, uh, the real reason I'm making this video is because I was able to talk to the co-founder of Lion uh, a few hours ago, and we had originally filmed a video a couple weeks ago uh, where we are discussing news and, and doing what we do here, um, and we are going to try to upload it now that we have the official channel up and running, um, we are going to try to upload it. He's got that video. Um, it's, it's a longer video, uh, so we're not sure if we'll actually be able to upload it, but but hopefully we can get it up there, and um, I'll throw links and stuff at the bottom of that one too, even though it's covering the same topics we've been talking about here. Again, it's part of the initial broadcast, uh, broadcast number one. This is our, our maiden voyage out into the, the intertube wave ways uh, of knowledge and information. Um, so uh, I'm just doing the short segment now. I, it might be kind of long because I'm going I'm to talk about some stuff before I get into news here. Um, if anyone's been 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 following us and, and looking at the videos uh, in the past, where uh, some of the videos show a lot of, of police acting very un un police like, um, and we're going to get to the reason why that is, why you're seeing that in those videos, and it starts with this this message right here. As you know, our initial broadcast is about the uh, emergence of a police state, and um, basically this police state is being established to create control within the United States to make sure that nobody can do anything unless the government, or, or in this case, the New World Order, uh, says it's okay. You know, you can't do that unless we say it's okay. And uh, basically, it's destroying our sovereign rights, it's destroying our civil liberties, and it's destroying the Constitution, which defends us from such a thing. Um, so we got to start standing up for our rights before we lose them, and that's for everyone. And I encourage people to go read the Constitution, read the Bill of Rights, read the Declaration of Independence, learn what your country is about, and if you're not from the United States of America, learn what your country is about, learn what your history is like, um, and then, and and just be informed. Uh, and again, I want to direct a, a, a quick little little message out to people who aren't from the United States. Um, I have to announce to you all that, because international opinion on, on the United States of America right now is dwindling. We're looking very bad in the in the, interna in the international community. Um, so, so I just want to make this known to everyone outside of the United States that the majority of the people within this country do not support or endorse the military actions or the control corporate actions that are being espoused to other countries. All the stuff in Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, I'm no fan of, of, of terrorists or radicals. As long as that matter, I'm no fan of radicals people who are radical enough to violence. I, I do not endorse that. Uh, as I've mentioned earlier, we, we have to we have to be intellectual. We, we shouldn't resort to violence unless there is no other option, and, and I mean defensive. If somebody comes after you and threatens to hurt you, and they don't listen to you when you say stop, um, then then you have no other option. Um, but, but I don't endorse violence off, offhand, and I don't endorse, in, endorse radicalism. No one here at Liberty Intelligence Organization that work does. We, we endorse information, knowledge, and being empowered through, through information. Um, so I, there I said that I don't want people in other countries to blame us as the American people, because our government has been hijacked, as many of yours have been hijacked by the New World Order. Uh, and again, we're going to be explaining that throughout the duration of our existence here, what the New World Order really is. Um, I'm going to do a time check real quick. All right, I still got time. So let me go through, breeze through this new stuff uh, real quick. If you've been following this, you've learned that uh, the government is basically labeling American citizens and returning veterans for whatever reason as a potential terrorist. And, uh, if you watch some of the videos, you've seen police treating people as if they're terrorists, even though they're innocent. I mean, I know I got one video in one of the links where, where they just tackle an innocent man to the ground and break his neck and he's dead. And the police don't even get in trouble for this stuff. Um, it's outrageous. They're supposed to serve and protect us. Uh, and like I said, it's been a long time since I've ever seen a cop serving or protecting anyone. And I got a personal story about that, but I'm not going to get to it in this segment. Um, so let me get down to it. I got three articles here about police training manuals. I haven't linked to them yet on any of the videos, but I'll link to them at the bottom of this one, uh, hopefully, if I remember. Uh, if not, I'm sure I'll get them up there eventually. 
Um, but basically, these say the same stuff, except these say it's actually in the, the training manuals. This tells you where they found this information from. And it's in local police. Again, it talks about the state and local anti-terrorism uh, task force uh, or training. Training, yeah, training program. State and local anti-terrorism training program. We talk about that and uh, how the government's training all these local responders to treat people as terrorists. And uh, this is my favorite one. Uh, they, they all basically talk about the same stuff we've been mentioning in prior segments here. So I'm not going to go in depth into it. But but I like this one because it says uh, using social networks. So if you have a Facebook or uh, and this comes out of Fort Meade, Maryland. Um, and it was a PDF manual. You might even be able to find it if you, if you go online. You might be able to actually find the document. Uh, I haven't really looked for it yet because I've seen it from other sources. Um, but it says, yeah, using social networks, being highly emotional also. So if you're highly emotional and you use social networks, they're going to target you as a terrorist. And um, in our next segment, we're going to point out why this is so disturbing that, they, that they're labeling just about everyone in America a terrorist. And, uh, well, it's because of a law that's going to go into effect in 2013 that will endanger us, uh, us all, from our own, you know, the people, our public servants. And um, so, yeah, uh, I want to end the video now because I'm probably running out of time. Um, but again, thank you all for viewing. I want you all to stay strong, to stay, stay informed, to, to, to stay alive, and then. And look at this stuff for your own. Get informed, get out there, get educated, get in fashion. Welcome to the 21st century. Uh, I don't want to have to say it someday, but uh, let's hope we don't welcome ourselves to the New World Order because it will not be good for us. It will be good for the super elites and the super wealthy, but it won't be good for us American people. Um, so that's it. I want to say farewell to everyone, and I will see you in the next segment.